All right, here we got a new stat that's from one of their recent videos that Iron Mace released. This one's actually from the, uh, not the most recent video, from like two videos ago. But people caught on that they had a uh, new stat. So prestige item drop, probability of requiring advanced items. So I'm, that sounds similar to like the luck. Um, like the, uh, not the ranger, but the bard has a perk which I did take and use when I was playing Bard, but it didn't seem to affect, it didn't change anything. For me, I didn't notice any difference. But it was supposed to increase your chances of getting higher quality items. So that's what presumably they mean by advanced items, you know what I mean? So instead of finding a common item, you find a rare item, you know, something like that. Um, where is it on here? Prestige item drop, 15%. Hmm, I wonder how that's works how that stacks and presumably just gear armor and stuff is now going to have that or what or is it just a base stat that's visible and it's depending on what class you have you have a higher prestige item drop maybe that was why the bard i didn't notice a difference maybe it wasn't working maybe it wasn't built in yet even though the perk was there maybe it didn't actually affect anything similar to magical what interaction speed is in the game but it doesn't actually do anything maybe this is them actually implementing it um and so when you take the bard's perk you'll probably see this stat go up now that's interesting let's see and then yeah also yeah the luck potion too which we don't know exactly how that'll work but they also had that luck potion i don't know there's different possibilities because, you know, normal potions, you know, they have a duration of like, you know, whatever, 30 seconds or something or 15 seconds, you know, on a whatever, on a protection potion, an invisibility potion, whatever the timing is. But, you know, it's a short period. So we'll see if they do that with a luck potion, if it's something like that or if it's more like, okay, two minutes, five minutes, the whole raid, the whole match, the whole round or the whole... um the whole level so to speak you know because there's the round but then there's also if you're in the crypts you know you choose to go down to inferno that's like it resets you know it's like a new uh match so to speak even though it's you know connected to the last one will that luck potion now affect me here probably not it'd probably be just one of those so you'd have to drink a new luck potion now that you're down in inferno um it probably resets it if it is something like that as opposed to being like a 30 second two minute thing so we'll have to see and see how those scale because, you know, just like, uh, health potions, protection potions, those also have like uncommon, common, rare, you know, all the different colors and, um, higher quality ones. So I wonder if luck potions will probably have the same thing that that's going to increase, you know, you know, one increases 5% luck chance, one does a 10%, one does a 15%, da, da, da. So that'll be interesting to see and also see now how people meta that, what the meta is as far as um, the high level, high roller, sweaty players, how they utilize them if they do. And when's the right time strategically to use it? When's the best time, I should say, to use it? Presumably, I was going to say presumably when you're fighting, maybe even in the middle of the boss fight with like the ghost king or something, one of those, or the treasure hoard. But it may not actually matter because we don't know how the luck potion works. You know what I mean? Does the luck potion only affect the rarity of the item or does it also affect the stats that get um, RNG'd, that get rolled onto that item? You know what I mean? Because if you're gonna get an epic item anyways, um, or a legendary item anyways, drinking the luck potion isn't gonna matter then if it if it only affects the rarity the quality um you know the color as opposed to the stats but if it also affects the stats then that's a big deal that's where it's really going to be very valuable to the high-end players who have the opportunity to be getting those um legendary items and for them it's about not just it's like okay i've already got legendary items then it's not about getting legendary uh, legendary items of any type it's about getting the best rolls the best stats on my legendary item, you know? <laughs> so it's like, I've got three, uh, 
capes or something and i just want to get the one with the best stats on it as opposed to us normals who don't who just want one cape at all anything we've never had a cape and just even having one at all would be cool <laughs> 